Well, good morning, everyone. This is Arvor Mill 47 uh, coming to you from uh, Dallas, Texas. Uh, today is June the 14th, 2011. I'm uh, making this video at 11.42 a.m. Central Time here in the United States. Uh, just a quick update on the Volcano Nebro. Um, we can see here on infrared satellite that it does continue to erupt. It slowed it slowed down some in eruption uh, late in the day yesterday, it seemed like, and now the the cloud has picked up some again. Again, we're going by ash cloud and satellites, and we can't seem to have any scientist like tell us what's going on with this right now, just because I guess it's in such a remote region of the world. I mean, er Eritrea, there, Ethiopia, here, the Sudan the Red Sea uh, here's Yemen but again uh, from all accounts of just from what few people have even uh, made it known through uh, let's see it be earthquakes.com their web page which is it's earth earthquakereport.com it should uh, earthquake-report.com it's really about the only place you can find information right now that uh, is uh, coming in at semi real time so that's a good place to go um, there's still some uh, flights that have been cancelled over there uh, I don't really see a big plume here I mean I see a big plume here but I don't see it going up into the Sudan like it was yesterday again I see you know just the continuation of just the eruption and then the uh, ash cloud going again it, it did look like it had dropped off in intensity uh, earlier and it, it may now have picked back up again and again I'm just <laughs> I'm no volcanologist so I just have to go by what I can interpret on an infrared satellite because again we have no close-up pictures we have no uh, people on the ground they can take pictures and send to us right now over there so we just kind of have to go by what we uh, what we've got so again it is continuing to erupt and um, continuing to throw ash uh, up into the air and at pretty pretty good heights uh, still at some point uh, like 40,000 feet or more so that, that will affect air traffic in that area uh, let's take a quick look at uh, the earthquake map in that area Okay, here's an earthquake map uh, from the European uh, and Mediterranean Seismological Center. And um, here, of course, is where the earthquakes happened right up until um, the volcanic eruption, and we've had nothing new since then. Uh, again, the Mediterranean and the Middle East continue to have uh, small 4.0s, 2s, 4.0s, 4s, 3s, it continues to be uh, semi-active. I mean, that's just the Mediterranean there for you, and the Middle East, um, and even European. Uh, we'll get a little over in here. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that we see nothing that uh, has been any new activity. So what magma movement was happening to break through, um, either moved and broke through, or the earthquake itself caused a a, a shift or a, a landslide enough to allow the volcano to erupt. Again, that's kind of what happened to Mount St. Helens. Uh, a big landslide really off the side of the volcano allowed it to finally erupt, uh, which in that case it was a lateral blast. But again, we can only speculate on this because there's just uh, again not enough information coming in from uh, the area so uh, again to get your bearings uh, there's uh, the neighbor volcano here's the Red Sea Saudi Arabia there's the Mediterranean and uh, so that's what's going on over there right now let's take a look at just uh, earthquakes in general real quick this is a list off of the uh, USGS uh, uh, government site that just shows a list of earthquakes. Uh, I believe I have it set for greater than threes. Um, and you can see, again, the Pacific continues to maintain activity as always. 
with fives, uh, and, and that's the South Pacific Loyalty Islands. Unfortunately, uh, almost a six, again, off of Honshu, Japan, and that's right over in the region that, you know, was hit by the uh, large earthquake and tsunami. Uh, so they continued to get rocked. Um, some more South uh, Pacific, some more uh, New Zealand activity. Uh, some activity has been on the uptick in Sumatra, and of course there are several volcanoes in that area. Let me scroll down, hopefully it doesn't make you too dizzy. Uh, in the Molucca Sea, we had a 6.4 yesterday, which is a pretty decent sized earthquake. Um, but again, nothing overly stands out on here to tell me that, that something is on the uptick. Um, we've been seeing a lot I've been seeing a lot of uh, low-level um, activity coming out of Puerto Rico for about the past almost a month now and even in the Dominican Republic area again they're small very small earthquakes but uh, again it's always interesting to see stuff like that there's a uh, another one in Valparaiso Chile 4.7 down there uh, close to the earthquake that's going off there so again that's just kind of a quick look at uh, the earthquakes and uh, the volcano Nebru Nebro that is going off over in uh, Africa so hopefully we get more information and we can see what uh, is happening so as I uh, of course mess this up okay here we go again ash cloud there and this satellite again is uh, comes from uh, sat24.com uh, again a good place to go for your uh, European and Mediterranean satellite uh, imagery so anyway that's it for now y'all have a good one